morning. I'm vlogging today, so you get to come along. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do a day in the life vlog, and since today is going to be a really interesting, unusual sort of a day, I thought I would bring you along. So things to look forward to today include um, finally getting up at five in the morning for the first time in a while, going out to lunch with my coworkers, and going to get a dental crown after work. So, uh, you may not actually see any of the juicy stuff because I tend to be very self-conscious when I'm vlogging in public, but we'll see what we manage to pull together, and um, I hope you enjoy the ride coming along today. I woke up at 5 o'clock for the first time in a while. I'm, I'm starting to finally feel a little bit better. Um, I've been feeling sick for the last, like, week half um, and I've been sleeping in to try to you know recover a little bit but I'm starting to feel a little bit stressed about the amount of things I need to do for like my blog and stuff before we go um, out of town for New Year's so I'm trying to get caught up so that's where I am this morning um, my coffee's brewing and I'm here in the office for an hour um, computer screen is like the thing brightening the room and I'm gonna uh, see how much I can get done. So That was a successful hour. Thank goodness I finally got a lot of things out, just like drafted and brain dumped that I've been needing to. So it's 6.15 now, the baby is still sleeping. So um, hopefully she'll just keep sleeping. My sister is here today, so she's gonna be watching her and I don't have to worry about getting her up and ready to go. So this is a really nice, relaxed morning for me. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my teeth and get dressed. Beth is still sleeping out in our living room and Agnes is still sleeping in her room. Um, so this, I have a little bit of extra time right now and I'm spending it wrapping a couple of gifts um, for her, my sister to take back down to my family um, so that they can have all the Christmas gifts on Christmas morning. Uh, I'm trying this year to just use a lot of bags because for one thing we have a lot of bags because I don't throw them out you know why throw them out when you can reuse them and I'm realizing like it's more envi environmentally friendly to just wrap in gift bags it's not a lazy thing it's not that I'm being lazy it's that I'm being environmentally conscious for putting things into a container. Turn around everybody, turn around. Turn around everybody, turn around. So I think we're gonna do another cookie. Okay. She's gonna eat the cookie butter off the top. And then a lady of taste. Yeah. Would you like some raspberry jam also? Yeah, that's good. Alright, what do you want, Auntie Beth? Um, I wanna try this cookie butter kind yeah. of first. Hey. <laughs> it's lighting. This is morning light. I live um like ten minutes away from work, which is amazing. Uh, so I have to leave, I, I aim to leave around 7.45 to get to work at 8, um, to make sure, you know, with rush hour traffic that I get there on time. So, um, I'm five minutes from 8 and I should be getting there on time today. <laughs> so I, I set up my daily for today before I left work last night. Um, so I should be able to hit the ground running as soon as I get to the office. I have, uh, some stuff to scan. Hi. <laughs> And then I should be able to um, to get ahead of things, hopefully before Christmas. This is my goal. I'm in charge of processing renewal paperwork for the contracts that we hold. And so the beginning of any month is generally a very busy time for me because a lot of contracts will renew on the first of a month. Um, and so January is one of the particularly busy months. January and October, because October is the fiscal, the federal fiscal year. Um, so there's, you know, a lot that come in, but then a lot that come in late, which is always annoying. Um, so the beginning weeks of January will probably continue to be busy, 
but I get time off in the middle. <laughs> Lighting's a little bit better now. <sighs> the day is over, and for some reason we actually have a little bit of daylight, which is like weird. Maybe it's because I ducked out of the office like 10 minutes early. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I think it was two Fridays ago, um, I was just having a snack. I was eating some potato chips, which is what's weird. Um, I take a bite of potato chips, and then I've got like potato chips stuck in my teeth, so I'm like, and pull out a flosser start you know getting the potato chip out of my teeth and then pop a little piece of filling pops out and I'm like well that's a weird thing like the, the potato chips are still bugging me anyway I'm like oh great a filling it's that happened to me like the week before and I think then also again the week after the baby was born and I attributed that to just poor pregnancy teeth um that like I think it was tube back here and then I like put it off for a while because I was dealing with a newborn and so I had like these big gaps I had to keep flossing where I was missing fillings anyway so I'm like oh I lost a piece of a filling and so you know I, I took it I think I set it on my desk I was gonna keep it and like bring it with me just in case she wanted to see it um, but I think the cleaning crew disposed of it um, so sorry anyway I went in for an appointment last Tuesday um, and she's like yeah no that's not just the filling like a piece of your tooth came off and there's no pain or anything um, if there's just a big you know gap there where I keep getting food stuck it's especially difficult with like sausage and other meats anyway um, so it's not just a, the filling it's a piece of the tooth and they can't just do another filling they actually have to put a crown so I'm 31 and I'm getting my first crown. I feel like a failure at dental hygiene. This is why I'm trying to teach my daughter to brush her teeth well, to avoid things like this. I figure it's just trauma over time from maybe the filling not fitting as well as it could. I don't know. I feel like this might have been the one that um, was always just a little bit too high because I was just kind of impatient to get out of the chair. I'm like, yeah, I think it's fine as far as like the bite. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm on my way to the dentist to get a crown put in, or tonight is the part where they just, I, I didn't even know what a crown was until I looked it up on YouTube, and I just, I, I kind of don't like the whole idea of them having to drill away part of my tooth. It's the second molar on the lower left side. So, uh, that one. Um. Yeah, so they're going to be like drilling away the edges of my teeth so that they can replace it with a little, like a temporary crown and then I guess I get the real one in a couple weeks. So I'll have a temporary crown for the holidays, but hopefully it'll be easier to floss around and get less stuff stuck in there. I won't be picking my teeth in all the Christmas photos. And this is when they were able to fit me in. Um, at first I was like, oh no, I can't do five o'clock on a Thursday because the baby is at the sitter that day and I have to go pick her up and I'm not going to you know leave her at the sitter longer so that I can have a, a dentist appointment at a certain time so instead I was gonna have to go on the day after Christmas which is fine because I have that day off we don't really have plans um, but instead I realized like Unfortunately, before they closed, I'm like, oh wait, because my sister had been talking about maybe coming up and it was a sort of iffy thing about like which days. I was like, well, if you can commit to coming next Thursday, then I can make this dentist appointment. And so she did and she's there. She's been taking care of the baby all day long. I got a bit of an update. She said um, that she was doing good, that she was eating leftover spam and rice for lunch. But I haven't really, I don't really like bug people to send me updates like I figure if something cute or important happens they will let me know um, but otherwise you know just let her do her thing I know it bugs me when people uh, harass me for photos when I'm busy so that's that's what I'm on the way to do and I feel like the light is already going away so it's gonna be dark by the time I get there um, just enjoy this smile while it lasts
because I'm not going to be able to smile in an hour. Ugh, wish me luck. <laughs> okay, we're done. Yeah, see, I can't smile properly. Uh, there it is. That's the temp. And so that's what I'm going to have for Christmas. If I can smile, we'll be able to see if it shows up in the uh, Christmas photos or not. Probably not, because it's pretty far back. Anyway, all done. Let's head home. guys seen Holiday Inn, you know, with Bing Crosby and Fred Astaire? Um, I, it was like on all of those lists of classic Christmas movies you should totally watch, and so I've been like wanting to watch it, but it was never on any streaming services, and I didn't know why. And this year it's on Amazon Prime, so go check it out before they take it down, because I've found out why it hasn't been on streaming services. And it's, uh, it's the Song of the South reason, except it's worse. And wow, it was so deeply uncomfortable to sit there and watch those scenes. <sighs> the rest of the movie is good, though. It features nice dancing and good singing and cringeworthy plot points and really tacky music. So um, we're actually not done watching it because it started acting up and then it got late. So I'm going to bed now. Thank you for following me along today. Um, thank you for the moral support with all the shines. That's nice. Anyway, um, I have to edit this video this weekend and then you, I will see you in Thursdays, which is, oh gosh, 2020 setup, I think. Yeah. So, um, tune in for that. Subscribe if you're not already and check me out in all the places down in the description. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. <laughs> Good night. Bye.